Hey everyone, Paul here from TabletopGamer.com and in this video I'm going to go through the Warhammer Age of Sigmar painting guide that was uh, just recently released by Games Workshop. Um, I'm mostly into, I love painting um, Warhammer miniatures, Warhammer and Warhammer 40k, that's my, um, that's what I enjoy the most about the hobby is actually building and painting them, so far anyways. Um, so I picked up this painting guide just to kind of learn a little bit more about you know what they recommend and uh, refine my technique and get a little bit better at painting especially since I've been away from the hobby for a couple of years so just getting back into it and I figured why not pick up one of these guides and see what um, what they say now the cool thing is um, in the beginning of the guide they actually have a little bit more um, you know the background the fluff about the uh, you know about the units and they have quite a bit of you know high-res imagery showing you you know what the what the units look like they go into each of the individual units a bit more background about them there's the chaos so we're what are we on page 22 23 already and um, you know still all fluff background and lots of images which is awesome I think it's cool to get uh, get to know the models a little bit more and to see some nice high-res images of uh, you know what they look like uh, painted so now we're into on page 32 33 and uh, now we're diving into the actual um, painting tutorials which I think look really cool. So there's Lord Celestant and the Drath, uh, there's this Drakoth and this page is showing how to do the scales on them. Each of the uh, pages I notice they do a lot of uh, tips as well. Obviously showing you what uh, colors to use from the new um, color range. Tons of detail at each step of the way. Again, tips every page or two, some extra tips on how to make them look better. And of course, all the again, all the colors are laid out. Um, I think this is great. I mean, it just gives you a little bit more detail, stuff that you wouldn't necessarily uh, notice by looking at, uh, you know, a, a painted miniature. You might not notice a few of the details. Um, how to make the cloak look good again more tips I've always liked these kind of painting guides whether it's a, in a video format or in a book like this because you you know the stuff you learn on how to make something look good um, you can pretty much use it for any of the models that you're painting, not just these ones, obviously. And sometimes I see people who have painted something and I'm like, you know, I just look at it, I'm like, wow, how do they make it look like that? And I try to make it look like that and it doesn't really look as good. But when you look through some of these painting guides, it's like, oh, okay, I see what they're doing. Right? And you get a little bit more insight into how they make something look uh, a certain way. Like this is a cool, I was looking at this particular one the other day, the hourglass that they have. Um, it's kind of neat, like if you take it up to this point, the hourglass looks cool. They have the two tone and you know the you know the sands of time kind of flowing from one to the other. But then they add the, the extra kind of, um, they use the white paint, white scar to kind of add a little bit of a um, you know, rounded line over here and here and it kind of just gives it, ma makes it look more like it's made out of glass. Uh, so I thought that was kind of cool. Again, lots of details every step of the way. So if you wanted to know how to paint these guys, this is the book. Pretty much shows you every single step. Every miniature, every step, what to do, how to make it look good. There's the wings. I can't wait to paint these. These look like they're going to be a lot of fun. 
And I think they just look amazing. I've always been a fan of uh, miniatures that have angel wings in them. I don't know why, I just really like them. I just think that they look cool. And then we get into the uh, chaos. Again, just, you know, even if, just to know which colors you're gonna need to make a list of, um, you know, which colors to pick up if you're, um, if you don't have the, you know, the whole color range yet for an army. Skin and the uh, flesh tone. Lots of detail. Again, more tips. How to paint the talisman. Boots, eyes. Eyes are always fun. And then we get the blood reavers. How to make the skin look like that instead of like that. I haven't really done a lot of painting of um, flesh. Most of the miniatures I've been painting are wearing some kind of armor. Um, so I'm kind of curious how that's going to look. Again, tons of detail. A lot of close-ups just showing you, you know, the difference between the two. Some of the stuff is really subtle. You don't really notice it, but if you have a picture like this and they tell you exactly what they're, uh, what they're doing, you can kind of notice it. And because um, you know, sometimes, like I said, you look at some of the miniatures and it's it's hard to see what's missing. Like you're looking at yours and um, you know what someone else has painted, and it just looks like something is missing, but you can't figure out what it is. Well, these kind of details they can kind of you know show you um, what you can do to make it look a little bit better. And of course, you know, I don't know if I'd, you know, go into as much detail as they're talking about here in for every one of the miniatures, but if you do want to take one and, you know, spend more time on it and paint it really nice, um, it's nice to know what you can do to kind of take things to the next level. Or just use it as a reference guide when you're painting, whichever model you're painting, just go through it real quick and pick up a few tips. So there's all the uh, all the chaos, and of course in the back they just show um, a few ideas for bases. So that's it. So this is this page is uh, what is that? Uh, 120. So 120 page um, painting guide for um, Age of Sigmar. I like it. I think it's um, I think it's helpful, and um, I know there's also you know obviously uh, people will be doing videos on how to paint them as well. And um, I might do some videos, uh, in, in fact, I think I will. I'll probably do some, uh, just maybe some speed painting or just, uh, just some painting videos on when I start actually painting these guys. But it's always nice to have a, a book like this um, that you can refer to and just get ideas um, and the exact colors and stuff like that and details that you may not pick up from uh, just watching somebody doing something in a video. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this uh, video, guys. And um, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.